Friends, hi. Today we'll discuss Leonardo's mechanism and generate beat patterns. If you want to do it in this manner, in this manner, or in this manner, or even in this manner, make sure to watch the video until the conclusion and I will inform you of the process. It is very simple to do. And please, prior to completing the video and proceeding to the subsequent one, kindly subscribe to the channel and provide comments. It's crucial for me to get feedback from you. So let's proceed. We're shifting to Leonardo and all our tasks. You won't believe how easy it is. You simply need to verify the tiling option. What is her contribution? This function specifically enables you to generate a seamless pattern without any additional exertion. Using one of the writing prompts I have given as an example, here is a detailed depiction of Cyberpunk City. The most basic prompt. There is nothing particularly distinctive or exceptional about it. Fine-tuned Leonardo Diffusion model and illustration preset. What did we obtain? Here are the fragments that you can import into Photoshop or Illustrator and essentially generate any quantity of duplications of this background. You are not obligated to utilize a square format. You can utilize a horizontal or vertical format. It is simpler for me to work with seamless patterns using a square. And this is how I proceed in Illustrator. And why specifically in Illustrator, there are some truly cool mechanics here. Please pay attention to the patterns that I have assembled. Here is my fragment, and now I will manually duplicate it to create additional copies. Take a look at how cool he does it. Observe how Leonardo calculates the elements, fragments that should flow seamlessly from one picture to another, and more precisely from one border to another. So it is truly a cool tool for creating patterns for bookbinding, for utilization in branding, for utilization in packaging design purposes. That is the tool that you can currently take advantage of and utilize in your day-to-day -day work tasks. Let's proceed step by step on how to rapidly create any scale using a seamless pattern in Illustrator. To perform this action, you need to upload the fragment that you have generated in Illustrator. Then navigate to the Effects tab and select Distort and Transform, followed by Transform. This is a really awesome thing. And what exactly are we doing in this place? First and foremost, our primary task is to verify the dimensions of our image. We have it at a size of 300 pixels. It is truly wonderful. And then we go back, apply the distort transform effect to the image. We will first move our piece horizontally. Our fragment here is not 300 pixels, but 600 pixels, twice as much. And let's say we make three, five copies. Okay, what do we see? one of our pictures. It has already been automatically duplicated five times. And let's apply another effect. Distort, transform, yes, a new effect. And I plan to apply the same thing vertically, the same five times, everything that is. In reality, a single movement is all it takes to modify one link and achieve the same level of success. For example, this particular link with waves may seem to have relatively small waves on this scale, but you have the ability to choose an entirely different image that suits your preferences. This is a brief guide on how to enlarge a seamless pattern based on your small fragment to make it bigger. And now let's go to Leonardo, because there are some nuances in Leonardo that need to be taken into account. The first nuance. The process of creating a prompt is exactly the same as creating a prompt for a regular image without a pattern. However, if you desire a pattern featuring a realistic or semi-realistic image, you might encounter difficulties. I attempted to create an image with skulls and roses as a demonstration. Ultimately, I initially obtained a conventional picture without the tilling function activated. In general, I was content with the outcome, quite good pictures solid proportions, high quality plastic, everything is outstanding in this place. However, once I activated the tilling option, Leonardo immediately began providing me with some pig. In other words, objectively speaking, the image quality with this function is noticeably inferior. We have disparities, we have got ugly shapes, the color has become dirtier. In other words, if you desire a relatively realistic outcome at present, you will be unable to achieve it using this function or the quality will be below your preferences. I was dissatisfied and for me it was a pleasant or rather unpleasant surprise. However, 
If you find yourself in need of undertaking an abstract task, such as creating something that resembles a plant, a geometric shape or a surreal object, where the accuracy of proportions and realism are not of significant importance to you. There you can really use tiling and generate seamless patterns in any quantity. Using these waves as an example, the waves turned out great. The waves turned out to be graphic. In principle, plus or minus what I had and needed. So I was currently testing, but for some book or for some company that deals with tourist shipping, similar patterns could be made and sealed with them packages, maybe even seal notebook covers from the inside and make business cards with these patterns, utilizing the designs that are incorporated. In other words, a relatively speedy solution that enables you to generate content more rapidly and with greater efficiency without requiring licensing. Agree, it is cool. Therefore, friends, everything that is related to the abstract, in close proximity to the abstract, and generates patterns with abstract themes. Something more or less realistic, problems will arise. You will not obtain the desired result. But I believe it is simply a matter of time before you do. After a while, Leonardo will fine-tune his mechanisms and will receive breathtaking, masterpiece, seamless patterns. See you in the near future.